This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so Metro Boomin calls out 21 Savage for capping on the podcast. Lies. He is, he is, come on. Like, bro, nobody can spell super califragic XP Yo, 21 must be trolling at this point. I, I like his interviews because he he's, he's not... He's very, he's more articulate than you would think over the years. And he thinks about life. And I like some of his perspectives. Like, he has a lot of good perspectives, right? Sometimes he's annoying. But I think most of his perspectives are pretty good, especially in podcast settings like this. Even the academics one was good. Let's listen to this, though. He's got to be He's got to be trolling. Luke Uncle Shay Shay on the podcast. Now, this is Metro Boomin talking. This is his voice. Uh, obviously, he finds humor in it too, and they're, they're best friends. Man, but niggas sit on his couch and just feel like they could say anything. <clears throat> look at this nigga just looking, looking for a lot of tail. Look at this. Like, um, we was just talking about this last night. We was playing the game, and they was like, um, Spell super califragilistic espialidocious, <laughs> and it was crazy because I won the spelling bee in fifth grade spelling that same word. Wow! And yeah. I won the math competition. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Boom, it's like, bro, what? In that same year, this nigga said he won the spelling bee in fifth grade spelling super califragilistic espialidocious. Salute. Yeah. That's funny. I mean, they're good friends, so they can tease like that. So Meek Mill says, someone said, uh, don't listen to these guys. Be yourself and get a better circle so you won't be around some dumb people, right? Meek Mill responds, I made over 100 M's in my life. Uh, that's possible. He's at least generated $100 million, which is a lot of money, okay? Meek Mill's dropped... About five or six albums, each one generate you know, easily generated a hundred million dollars. Easily, easily. Okay, how much he keeps is different, right? Meek Mill's Meek Mill should be very rich still, unless he spent the money. I mean, who knows? You know, he should be very rich. Um, he's had a when you're at the game and you're you've been at least relevant for ten years, which Meek Mill has. The only thing that messed Meek Mill up is going to jail. I messed him up. I think he went to jail twice, right? Yeah. When you went to jail twice, he lost millions. Because think about it. You get, you're missing out on shows. You're missing out. You know, you're missing out on a lot of the perks. Plus, some people might not sponsor you because, you know, even though he shouldn't have been in jail, you know, it's different. Um, My family, if in fact, he might have a uh, court case against the justice system in Philadelphia if he can prove he lost money because of the way he was mistreated that would be interesting Meek you should look into that because the way they were treating you was pretty gross you know but um, anyways he says uh, I feed my community my family and change laws that send black and brown men to prison systematically um And what else? Uh, let's see. Success rate of 1% black, man. Why should they listen to you? That's true. He's right. Um, and he definitely made over $100 million for sure. And he is doing good. We can tease Meek Mill all we want, but we always have to look at the good. He does give back to a city, and he does try to change laws to help people that were in the same situation as him. Now, music-wise, we can you can criticize anybody. People criticize me every day, okay? But you know, people do look at the good things I did too. You know, like they they go they they, they look at both, um, and we could do the same with Meek Mill. So everybody that loves Meek Mill in here, I always give him his flowers. I think he's a great rapper. I don't think every song he puts. I think I think I think he's getting back to being the Meek Mill we love right now. Um, Plant. Plenty, plenty of workouts done with uh, off of Meek Mill. Uh, then we got uh, 
Southpaws. And then we got uh, Young Thug in Jail visit, Mariah Scientist. Now, this was leaked. Drake reacts to it. As if he didn't know this was purposely leaked by Mariah the Scientist, who has a project coming out. Drake says, this got to be some form of jail misconduct. You're going you're gonna to drag this talented man then not be able to control your employees using this his personal business for their own gain? Somebody benefited uh, benefited from this video even existing. Yeah, Mariah the Scientist. That's shameful for the whole case is a wash, I agree. Uh, th- uh, just three, free the guy. I meant to say free the guy. And uh, let him come home. Continue bringing light to Atlanta. This is disgraceful. This is a criminal case or Atlanta social media promo. Now, here's the thing. Uh, another thing that's disgraceful, Drake, is that he did shoot up wife and Lucci's house. Okay. Over some comments. But that's neither here nor there. I do think that Young Thug should be free um, because they don't have a good case against him. Plain and simple. Okay. You can't paint this man as a villain right now. You just can't, okay? I hope when Young Thug comes out, he doesn't push um, the gang culture as much, and I think I hope him and uh, YF and Lucci can coexist, even though uh, you know we know that some things happen that you know, can't really be undone. Boosie's dating a 28-year-old girl. So what? Who cares? Uh, he's, I, I, I date girls that are 30, 34, uh, 20, like 29. I don't go below 28. Me and Boosie are about the same age, pretty much, you know, like, I think he's a little bit older than me, like by six months, I think. I mean, we're pretty much the same age. Me, Wayne, Boosie, we're all the same age. Nikki, we're all the same age. Okay. Okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Girls date uh, uh, older women date younger guys. I mean, it's just like look at Diddy. Now that's that's an age gap right there. Twenty years is a gap. Okay, ten more closer to ten. It's okay. You know, it's this girl's choice, man. You know, it's really girls just hating because they uh, he spoils his girl. Boosie something else, bro. <laughs> Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.